ferocious panda on the loose! Run! Run for your lives! Oh. It's got a gun! Huh. I don't know why you guys are terrified. <laughs> what it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Now, this video is an American Dad Season 2 Francine's Ultimate Mega Compilation. We did Stan. Now we on Francine. Let's do this. I know what this is about. I may be blonde with great cans, but I'm pretty smart when I've had my eight hours. <gasps> I am not a loser. Haley, you take that back. Okay, Roger. Maybe I went to. <laughs> Haley, what the hell's oh. wrong with you? Finish him. <laughs> No, I just cleaned this carpet. What type of shit? <laughs> How's my little executioner holding up? So, did you throw out the lasagna? No, I just have to find a way to make it taste fresh on Thursday. Last chance, Francine. You can still join us. Not if it means cheating on Stan. Our life may not be perfect, but he's always there for me when I really need him. Francine! Stan! My precious little man ran away, Francine. Has he been passed here? No, Stan. Okay, let's just do this. Ah, oh, what a good night's rest. I had that wonderful recurring dream where I'm giving a lecture naked and I'm a res... <laughs> okay, y'all got me on that one. You got me on that one. Founding success. Now, how about a kiss? Good God, Francine, your roots are showing. I know. My hairdresser lost his touch when he decided he was straight. Apparently, it is a choice. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Come on, what do you think of this ink and wish bowl? They say if you touch it and make a wish, it'll come true. I wished it would look good on this table. <gasps> and it does. Well, yes, but there's got to be a scientific explanation. Roger, no! Stan, as long as you're still under house arrest, I might as well give you a conjugal visit. Hell yeah. He's probably frustrated he can't go to work or mow the lawn or clean the gutters. Boy, it's been a while since he's cleaned the gutters. Hey, maybe until Dad gets better, I can clean the gutters. That's creepy, honey. Ah! ah we know what she was talking about. Mine was in the gutter, right where we want it. <laughs> I want out of the ladybugs. What? What? Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! All my life I've said guns were bad. I'm such a hypocrite. Honey, he was robbing us. And he was gonna force himself on me. He said that? Well, no, but I assume. What? You think I'm not attractive enough? That, that what? That he'd just skip me and go straight to you? Well, aren't we conceited? Mom. I killed someone. Sweetheart, you had no choice. You saved the family. Yeah, I did, huh? And with a gun. I guess I owe the NGA that apology. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yeah. That's the burglar. Dad staged the whole thing. Yeah, I get it, Haley. I'm unrapeable, not stupid. What's wrong, honey? I hate being a famous author. Do I really have to go on Captain Monty's? Oh, well, no, I suppose not. Thanks, Mom. Oh, Steve, just curious. When did you stop loving Mommy? What? Because if you loved me, you wouldn't want me to have ugly hair. But do whatever makes you happy. I have to go put some ointment on that hideous cesarean scar I have because of you. But Haley was a cesarean. Oh, that's right. With you, I just tore from my V to my A. Good night. Oh, no. We gotta go home. I just realized your father forgot to put underpants on me. Francine, you seem oddly unfazed. No, no, I'm shocked and confused. It's just that I paralyzed my face to make me look prettier. Ah! You tricked us just so you could get an apology out of Haley? Is your gun club that important to you? And you! You missed out, pal. Enough! On now tomorrow you two are gonna spend the day together and reconnect or I am gonna lose it! So help me God, I will cut your pretty faces! It's not cheating, it's just acting. Acting's not that hard. Renee Zellweger just makes it look hard. Francine, have you seen my darling little num num num? No, I haven't. Bye, I'm going out. What's this? My darling Francine. I can't stop thinking about our hot, romantic weekend. <gasps> You're cheating on me! Stan, I can explain! Fussy! How could you? And with this! 
Shouldn't have got married in the first place. That was your first mistake. Francine, I'd buy you ten kiosks if I still had my human body. I'd do lots of things if I had a human body. Because, you know, I'd have a penis. Klaus, you know I don't like that type of language. Put a quarter... She was with it until you said penis. ...in the penis jar. Moist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Love moist. Yeah, this degree is a complete joke. No one will ever hire you. But you just said, oh, like you were impressed. Yeah. Yeah, I did. What the? <laughs> oh, that explains the total neglect and the increased tissue consumption. Stan, maybe you're just having a midlife crisis. You want to cheat on me? No, ma'am. We're from the FBI. We're on the trail of a jewel thief who may be in this area. Have you seen a man about 6'2", 65 years old, sometimes leaps from a helicopter? Yes. Salty demeanor, wears a turtleneck? Yes. Is it this man? Oh, thank heavens. For a minute, I thought you were describing my father-in-law. But he doesn't have a mustache. No mustache? Sorry to waste your time, ma'am. Mwah! Baby, I just might have that affair after all. No. See, and that's what I like about Francine. She'd be the perfect woman if she goes out and gets the girl. But, you know, she should already know what to do in the beginning. I don't know why she gives me permission. There ain't no ring on this finger, bitch. <laughs> but wouldn't it be fun to mix it up a little? You're right. Let's do the rest of the puzzle without looking at the box. Blind, blind! Woo! Oh, adventure! Hold on. Hello, MasterCard. Do you accept payment in the form of adventure? But Hello, colleges. I'd like to pay my son's tuition. I don't have any money, but my husband is rich in adventure. Well, what'd they say? Ah! Oh, my ah! God. I've always ah! wanted to own a kiosk. I could just never seem ah! to raise the money. Don't keep me in the suspense, bitch. What, what'd they say? I, <laughs> they gonna take adventure or... So, Adam. Mr. Ant. Right. So, what do you think? Now, will you invest in my kiosk business? No. Invest? No. I'm Adam Ant. I have like eight dollars. So. We've only had consensual sex 89 times, okay? I told you we're taking it slow, all right? I need time to make this type of decision. That being said, can you reach over and grab the condoms? I would like some more of that ass, please. <laughs> Oh, now that your head's clear, would you like to invest in my kiosk? Excuse me? Like eight dollars. So, now that your head's clear, would you like to invest in my kiosk? Do you want me to go? Not unless you got another couple rounds in you. <laughs> you guys think about my kiosk idea. I'm gonna freshen up. She's not getting a dime. But what we just did gives me an idea for a song. What's her name again? Eileen, I think. I wanted to let you know that your mother is coming home tomorrow, but I'll be staying a little while longer. Francine, how did you... <gasps> hey, Haley, I'm getting a motorcycle. So you better learn how to clean a motorcycle. End the conversation. Wow, Jeff's really changed. Isn't it great? I don't know what's gotten into him, but he's suddenly so strong and primal like a caveman. Oh boy, I told y'all they like that shit, man. Don't tell her yes all the time. I wonder if he'll hit me, but only because he really loves me. And sometimes you do talk too much. Yes, yes I do. Oh, we'll just tell people you walked into a door. That's perfect. Thanks, Mom. The See? ladybugs and I are buying crudité for a charity art auction tonight at Boo! That's the name of the gallery. Ah? Uh? No. Boo! Ah! Hi there. I'm George Clooney. Mm-hmm. That doesn't work. Here's your Guinness. Guinness? That's my favorite. That does not work. Walking up to a woman, if I walked up to a woman and says, hi, I'm Blasphemous HD, YouTuber, and all this other stuff, even if she liked me, she wouldn't like me. Mine too. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. 
so deep in my heart that you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I've tried so not to give in. I've said to myself, this affair never will go so well. One day, Chan, your life will drop. I got your exclusive invitation under my windshield wiper. My daughter doesn't respect me, so I'm here to change my life. Well, then, welcome. Hey, there he is. <laughs> you look great, champ. I took a shower. Boy, that bathroom is so clean, Mrs. S. How do you find the time to still be so pretty? No, oh, Barry, please. I look terrible. Please don't tell my boss, ma'am. I really need this job. I am so poor I cannot even afford pants with a zipper that stays up. <laughs> and please don't tell anyone we have cockfights in here. Well, your cock really did a number on my hair. Francine! It seems you have more in common with us than we thought. <sighs> if I stay in this rut, it won't be long until it's head in the oven Friday. Francine, this is the first time hearing of any play. No, Stan, it isn't. I aced the play audition! Play rehearsals are going well. We got the playbills today at the playhouse of the play I'm in. Mama, there's a girl in the castle. Now, Chip, I won't have you making up such wild stories. Uh, I'd hit the you, not the wild. It's better. Hmm, doesn't ring a bell. But... I know you're working for the other side, Francine. What? You're a spy. Oh, please, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> well, I'd better run. George Clooney's head is about to have a big opening weekend. Wait. Listen to that, honey. The most beautiful sound in the world. Kids screaming. I'm glad you're happy, Dad. Stan, I don't think Haley's having as much fun as you are. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my God. Are you still moping about Steve? Come on, he's just going through a phase. It's like Steve is America and you're arrested development. It doesn't mean you're bad. It just means he's not interested in you. As soon as Stan talks to his boss, we're going back to America without you. See that? That's a wedding ring. I'm Stan's only real wife. Husband, give me ring, too. And it has inscription. Where? <gasps> Damn! You want to dance, bitch? Ooh. Let's dance. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, cat fight. Take her top off. Rip it right off! Kiss her! Oh, yeah? Then get your own damn wine! And Klaus, you want a rose? Here's your rose! Oh. Uh -huh. And here's your end piece, Steve! Don't forget to chew! Don't worry, there's plenty left for the rest of you! Oh, shit. Look at you! My dream is to destroy George Clooney. That arrogant, overrated, memo-writing bastard! He's not even an actor! He just does the same cheesy move every time. Looks down, then looks back up, squinting underneath his eyebrows, and everybody's buying it! God, if I just had the chance, I know exactly how I'd bring him down. You see, Clooney's never fallen in love. Let me guess, she's gonna Johnny Depp him. <laughs> it's always a fling here, a, a fling there. Well, I'd make him fall in love with me. Man, fall in love with me if you want, ladies. Just know that I'll take a long time. And then I'd break his heart and watch him cry until his eyeballs bleed. That's every woman. Francine, I'm sorry, but that's the craziest, most unsettling thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And we're totally gonna make it happen! Oh, Stan, I can't believe you're helping me make my dream come true! Anything to see you happy again. I have no idea what this is. Mom! But I'm too tired to question it. Mama, what? Let's Mom. get you a little fresh air.
Let's get you a therapist. Let's get that nigga. Ow! Mm. Stop it. Remember me, Francine. Oh, how I wish I could peel off your skin, put it on, and be you. Just chip. Stan never offers me chips. Oh no, thanks. I don't like chips. At least he offered. Boy, whoever adopted this part of the highway is really keeping it clean. Thanks, Ku Klux Klan. We need help. Our friend is hurt. Oh, the entrance is right over. We don't have insurance. Please, doctor. He could die. Doctor. Shut up, Haley. Come on, Francine. Make a wish. Why bother? A wish is like a dream, and mine died years ago. So, Doc, what do you say? I don't know. Handicap mafia. It seems wrong. I mean, I mean the mafia part, not the handicap part. I think it's great you're handicapped. I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. Hey, this is our spot. Push on! Are you deaf? Push on! I'd like to hold it in my arms. Now you promise you're just gonna watch it once and then erase it? Yes. I just wanna see what we look like. I fell for this one one time. Never make a sex tape, men. She'll just show people and then charge them money to see it. Won't even cut you in on it. The, the point is... <laughs> oh, sweetie, what's the matter? It's a bartender's job to provide a sympathetic ear. Stan is completely stopped being intimate. Well, you are kind of on the downslope. Snacks for the gun club. I'll be back with the drink so you can all get locked and loaded. Ah, <laughs> funny. Uh, oh my god, you're covered in blood. What happened? I can't tell you, but I'm saving lives because that's what I do. I can't just refuse a patient because I find them morally reprehensible. Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor. <laughs> oh, it's work. Tell your father I'll be gone all night. Man, these hours are brutal. No wonder those doctors on scrubs don't have time to be funny. Oh, God. This isn't about some unfulfilled dream. You're having a midlife crisis, and you're taking it out on a future senator from California. Midlife crisis? Wait, future senator? Oh, I will fucking chop his head in two! Her oh. cell made me look like a boring housewife who's only good at cleaning. Oh, that is an outrage. Thank you, Roger. You're a terrible cleaner. Look at this place, it's filthy. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, dirty S for schmutz. If you don't want to go out, I'll go by myself. Francine, I forbid it. Yeah? Well, too bad. This belong to you? Thanks, just, yeah. uh, just put her anywhere. Well, I'm sure it can't be. <gasps> My dad's a thief and a con artist. I'm just a sucker and an itchy turtleneck. And what I did to you... Go ahead, punch me in the face, I deserve it. Oh, Stan. Oh! I said punch, not lamp! Never give a woman the right to hit you in the face. She'll just do it during the argument afterwards. That's for locking me in the basement without giving me any laundry to fold. Honey, I, I can explain. It's not how it looks. Damn it, you got him all wrong, Francine. He's the greatest guy in the world. He's taking me to his villa on Lake Como. I didn't mean to fall under his spell. I'm only human. Ah, ah, I'm only human. Ah! My chop! We take you the legally required 67 miles offshore where the international laws of the internet apply and certify you in the career of your choice. Ooh, surgeon sounds fun. Excellent. Now that comes with your choice of a specialty, heart or brain, and a Dr. Barrington. His specialty is hugs. It's not Stan I'm worried about. It's the female entertainment I don't trust. Men throw a little cash at them, they'll do anything. Then sometimes when you're on the floor with another girl, guys will throw money, then pick it up and throw the same singles out there again. Like I'm an idiot. Like I don't have peripheral vision. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. You know I actually feel sorry for him. He'll never know this kind of happiness. Let's go home. Forget it! You may keep me locked up in this house, but I control what I do in it. Or as they say in my country...
Oh, I see today you're making tea. Well, today I became a surgeon. My diploma? This is printed on the back of a Chinese takeout menu. You've clearly been scammed, Mom. Doctor! I didn't go to school for 12 hours to be called Mom. You know what, Stan? If it's so darn... No. Damn. That's right. I went there. If it's so darn important for you to dance with the homecoming queen... Haley, did you ever consider that your film might make my life look, well, worthless? Come on, Mom. Women are doing bold, exciting things, and you're... What? The HMS Cucumber declares war on poor nutrition. Admiral Egg spots hunger off the starboard bow. He's launching baby corn torpedoes. <laughs> Open. If they like me, it's goodbye boring routine. Hello, exciting charity events, social functions, and book clubs where we just get drunk and complain about our husband's lack of interest. What now? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. He's smart. As you can see, Mrs. Smith, we are positioned directly across the oh, street shit. from Clooney's hotel. <clears throat> are they building a basketball court in his hotel room? Clooney has it written into all of his movie contracts. What do the Cohen brothers see in him? <clears throat> what should we do about the dog? Turn it over to her next of kin? Seems like a lot of paperwork. No, stop! I'll take that dead woman's dog. Finally, I have someone to play Frisbee with. <laughs> Good dog! Hello, welcome to... Oh! Oh! Miss, your ticket! Now say goodbye to your kneecaps, Stan! Honey, I know you're upset, but I also know... You never shoot an innocent man! <laughs> Which one of you is Stan? He is. he is! Oh, fine with me. I'll just shoot you both. Okay, okay. This has gone on long enough. <sighs> Francine, I've been a fool. All this time I thought I was special because I married the homecoming queen. But turns out I was special because I married you. Not because of some stupid crown. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. I love you so much. Nice try, Bill. Stan would never say anything that sweet. Do that in real life. She won't shoot you. She'll just break up with you or take a break. <laughs> Message. Oh, what the hell, you crazy bitch? Hey, Bill, come on. That's my wife, man. Oh, sweetheart, don't be so dramatic. Besides, aren't you having fun cooking with mommy? I'm not cooking with mommy. Dad handcuffed me to the oven. Well, if it weren't for handcuffs and your father, you wouldn't even be here, young lady. You lied to me, Stan. You're right. And it was a mistake to lie. You know why? Because I didn't have to. Because I'm the man and what I say goes. And I say Saudi Arabia is the greatest country in the world. Greatest country in the world? We packed our bags, we hopped a plane, we left our happy home. Now, uh, Francine, singing's kind of illegal here. The culture seemed a bit insane, but you said, hey, when in Rome? Uh, seriously, Francine, ixnay on the inging. Maybe you've got no reason to complain, but I've got no Y chromosome. That didn't even so rhyme. here's what I don't like about Saudi Arabia. Hit it! You can't go out unless you are escorted by a man. And when you do, you come home with a butt crack full of sand. No alcohol, no rum and cokes, and no Dom Perignon. At least a girl can have a smoke. But not on Ramadan. Oh, it's a land of joy. If you are a boy. But if you are a girl, it's the worst place in the world. Okay, Francine, we get it. Oh, but I'm just getting started. American girls, we do Pilates. Starve ourselves until we're hotties. Why? Because we like our bodies. Check me out, you uptight Saudis. Oh, it's so awfully grand. Come on, Francine, stop singing. If you are a man. I'm only backup singing. If you don't take me home soon, Stan, I think I'm gonna hurl. It's the worst place in the world. I started this point system and she's way behind. I only want to see the world explore and socialize But in this town I can't so much as look at other guys Cause if I did they call me harlot or adulteress I bet my last Rio you fellas won't approve of this Who wants a kiss? Ah. Yep. Yeah, do that! Yeah, 
that, do that. Great if you're from Mars, but not if you're from Venus. If you want to drive a car, you better have a penis. So if you've got a vagina, Ooh. a vulva, <gasps> a clitoris. What is a clitoris? And a labia. You see where I'm going with this. Stay the hell away from Saudi Arabia! Blasphemous AD. Whore! Blasphemous AD supports the sluts, Damn. man. Hey, bye, bitch! Uh, hey, hey, since you're so independent, I guess you be coming up with your own bail money. <laughs> Don't panic. I got you the best lawyer in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm sorry, Counselor. What did you say your name is? Irv Rosenblatt. Guilty! Get ready, fellas. We're almost there. Fine. You can kill us. I just thought you were better than this. What are you babbling about? I mean, wasting your time on some small-town housewife and her daughter? Taking the scraps the real mafia leaves behind? You better have a point, lady. You aren't living up to your potential. Neither was I until I saw my daughter's movie. So I made more of my life, and so can you. Four legs, you said you wanted to steal that orphan money from First National. Why not do it? Mom? Are you kidding? That bank is a fortress. Plus, it's not handy accessible. You can pull it off? What do you say? To First National Bank! Yep. <laughs> second-class citizens you deserve the same recognition and fame as everyone else you can do anything you want you can demand respect you are handy capable yeah! oh. don't die on me damn it I got a gig of hoot nannies in an hour that's that then Got him. Oh. What in the hell is that? My zucchini casserole. Zucchini? Uh, excuse me, but this is not Italian squash. Yeah, the only thing Italian about this situation is your dirty lies. <laughs> Shit looks like waffles with cheese on it. You're right. It's not zucchini. It's okra. I guess when I was at the store, my mind was somewhere else. Sometimes I escape to a little place in my head where no one complains about the meals I cook. <laughs> and there's no more scraping snot rockets off the shower tiles. And no Oh shit, she knows about those. Well, at least she didn't figure out that we pee in the shower as well to save time. Cause you know, you'd have to stop, dry off, and then get back in and start again. Like it's just too much work. A more PB and J with the crust cut off. <sighs> Anyway, if you don't want to eat it, I can fix something else. Okra's great. Yum! You! Oh. You're trying to kill someone on our vacation! What, what, this? No, no, I signed us up for the couple's Magnum P.I. class. You're Higgins. I saw Bullock's text! Francine, look, the guy I'm after is a monster. He's exterminated entire villages. Well... <sighs> Then I guess he deserves what we're gonna give him. Wait, we? Stan, we went on this vacation to spend time together. And that starts now. So who do we have to kill? Joe, the activities director. Aw, oh, but he's got such a sweet smile. I'm gonna shoot him in his face. Francine, are you sure about this? Look, the sooner we kill this guy, the sooner we can start enjoying ourselves. Oh, I signed us up for hot air ballooning at sunset. Think we'll nail this guy by then? I, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Come on, what's so hard about it? Bam, bam, bam! The white people don't I just see killed her. that waiter, a baby, and a fat guy and a rascal. But honey, Joe is the outdoor activities director. He's always surrounded by people. So kill them all. I think it's hot when you talk like that, but that's not how we do things at the CIA. Look, I, I just need you to get him alone, then I can shoot him. Okay, well. You figure it out while I take out these two. Bam! Bam! <coughs> Should have done that a long time ago. Never give him a gun. Steve killed somebody? H have you called the police? No need to. Me and Steve can handle it. Stan, you've done enough. I will not have this Christmas ruined. 
Now we're just gonna bury that body deep in the woods and never talk about it again. Santa? Don't speak of this to anyone. Santa, don't! I can't believe we're burying this guy in the woods. I can't believe you guys didn't let me smash his teeth out and cut off his hands. What? You want to get away with this or not? Yeah, I killed my college roommate. I can't believe you didn't know that. I stabbed her. And his head is about to have a big opening weekend. Wait. I've gone along with you on this whole thing, no questions asked. But now I gotta know. What the hell, Francine? What is this really about? I mean, I hate Susan Sarandon, but you don't see me cutting off my hand. I just cut my hair different for a while. What is this about? Just look at that f with cucumbers on his eyes. Not a care in the world. No making school lunches, no grocery shopping, no cleaning the house, no one depending on him all the time. Oh. Yeah, just his family. Oh, God. This isn't about some unfulfilled hater. dream. You're having a midlife crisis and you're taking it out on a future senator from California. Midlife crisis? Wait, future senator? Oh, I will chop his head in two! I've been in a few fights in my day. About two hundo, maybe two fitty. Yeah! You're dead, Becky! Uh, where did the time go? Okay, for the next two weeks, we're locking ourselves down here, and I'm training you until you are an unstoppable fighting machine! Forget it! I can't do this! You're just... You're just terrible! You... You can't even make a fist! Uh. Uh. Mom, where are you going? I'm not good for you right now, Steve. You are so frustrating. I'm gonna go down to SeaWorld, punch a dolphin in the face. Good news, everybody! The doctors figured out why you're seeing birds when there aren't any birds around? Better. They mailed us the tickets for our cruise! It's Ernie! Oh. Back in the house! What the hell was that? I don't know. That's the first time it's ever happened to me. Back door! The back door's locked. I'll get the key under the mat. Mom! That's the first time that's ever happened. You gotta believe me. Never believe me. Wow, that. look at you ready for a run. A regular, um, black guy from Canada. If she does it, it's not her first time doing it. And yeah. Yep, and I can't wait to write all about it in my health journal. Hey, I could join you. There's actually nothing in this bowl. You know what? That, that looks important. Okay. Can you hit the lights? La 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 la. Oh shit, bitch. Oh god, is she okay? She'll be fine. Just breathe her with this pump. The police said if Haley goes on another rampage, they'll throw her in jail. Jail? She'll never survive. Tiny cells, the gangs, getting shanked in the cafeteria. Yeah! The first couple stabs break the skin, and then they really get in there. And my baby's all... Luckily enough for me, the two times I've been stabbed, they broke skin, but they didn't really go in super deep. Wasn't super deep. So I come back in, I'm like, what's good? Homie throws the knife. Oh my God, I'm sorry. And he expected me not to dig up in his eye. Bro, he expected leniency, subscribers. Mercy. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. You're goopy, nigga. <laughs> you bitch. I'll kill you. Oh. oh. Damn, bitch. That was a haunting scene-lit, Francine. So to answer your questions, John from Cincinnati is my favorite HBO show, Lycos is my preferred search engine, and when it comes to World War II, I gotta go with my boys, the Access Powers. Hey, buddy, you and that fascist are on the kiss cam. This is so embarrassing. How could Stan publish this? I want to go back to the real world. Maybe we would go back if Stan couldn't publish this. What do you mean? I mean, if his memoir didn't exist, we couldn't be in it. Right. What keeps a book from getting published? Well, they wouldn't publish my book because it had an unacceptable amount of bestiality. Only 14 scenes. Great. 
Let's throw a little bestiality up in this memoir. That blind guy's German Shepherd is probably DTF, so get to it! The dog turned me down because it thinks it's better than me. Okay. What else could keep this memoir from being published? Well, you can't self-publish on Amazon if it has bestiality, pedophilia, bomb making. Bomb making? Let's do that one. A one hitch? I don't know how to make a bomb. I know it's kind of bougie, but I always buy them pre-made. Girl, I could make a pipe bomb in my sleep. But you don't have any of the ingredients. Yeah, but we can rewrite this memoir like we did Pride and Prejudice. A gallon of rubber cement, a half cup of salt, 10 pounds of manure, a steel pipe, and a Barbie leg for a fuse. Voila! Pipe bomb. Oh my God, you're right. None of this is my fault. Kathy, you are amazing. Please. <laughs> Kathy was both my mom's names. <laughs> call yep. me coach. And no. she's a butch. I'm going to call you friend. Whose muddy cleats are on the porch? They're Coach Kathy's. Uh-huh. Coach Kathy, Stan. She cured me. Okay. What? Coach Kathy, silly. The CIA grief counselor you sent. Coach Kathy. She totally cured me. And I hit a 90-mile-an-hour fastball. Oh, good. That sounds real. So, do you feel like it's in your best interest, mental health-wise, to keep up this relationship with Kathy? Is it bad that I would still take her upstairs, see if she's down to bend over some furniture? We gonna edit this out. <laughs> Coach Kathy? With Coach? I don't know what I'd do without her. Oh boy. Well, we don't want to find that out, so welcome to our lives, Kathy. Quit shaking her boobs, Stan. She likes girls. Who doesn't? That was disturbing, at best. That was amazing. You, you are super fun, man. You're fun. I love being friends with you, Stan. Hey, let's make some nachos. M melt some queso. Yes! Hey, 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 knock, knock. Oh, are you, are you doing a, a knock, 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 knock joke? Yeah, yeah, you just made me think of it. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> queso. Queso who? Okay, so I farted. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, you, you want to wake up early tomorrow and go for a run? Oh, definitely. Do you, you want to say like 7? So 7.15 to be safe. Welcome to Miami. Enjoy your stay. And now phase three, to enroll at Florida State University. This is supposed to be American Dad. What the hell is Stewie doing in this? How did a baby and a oh. dog get on a flight to Miami? Oh. Guess they're not as interested in reality as we are. Yep, oh. we're keeping it real. Just Damn. a boy and an alien on a bus. A boy and an alien in a wig and magical shorts on a bus. Super real! Ferocious panda on the loose! Run! Run for your lives! Oh. It's got a gun! Huh. I don't know why you guys are terrified of these things. We're not. We love them. I knew it was one of the two. Francine, I bought a panda. Roger, what are you doing? Well, with your dad missing, it's only a matter of time before hundreds of people show up for a candlelight vigil. 20 bucks a candle? That seems a little steep. Friends and family get 10 for 100, but we're not related and I don't really care for you, so it's 20 bucks. Oh my God, Mom, I'm so worried. What if... Well, what if Dad doesn't come back? Then you'll have killed your father. Do I really need to explain this to you? <gasps> Stan? Oh, Dad, thank God you're okay. We heard you were kidnapped. First, I'm not a kid, so the term is man-napped. And second, I escaped my kidnappers. Oh, God, that's 2,000 more candles. Nobody signed for that. Just ignore him. He'll go away. Uh? Thank you once more for this delicious glass of milk. Now, Mr. Smith, before I start, I want to remind you that insurance fraud is a felony, punishable by serious jail time. Your sworn statement says you swerved because a dog jumped in front of your car. Are you sure that's what caused the accident? Why wouldn't he be sure? I don't know, Mrs. Smith. It's not my job to know what caused the accident. It's my job to find out. And then after that, to know.
Oh my God, bro. I couldn't even fathom drinking milk straight no more, bro. I used to when I was a kid. Oh, I couldn't even fathom it no more as an adult. He keeps drinking, but there's always the same amount of milk. I rented this cabin for the next week. You sure you'll be okay? Of course, I'll be fine. Jeez, Steve, four gallons of Lubriderm? You try living with eczema. All right, time to report a disappearance. Hello? Genevieve? It's Haley. I think I have your story. My little brother has gone missing. Steve is missing? How horrible for him. But fantastic for us. We can make this national news. They said I wasn't good enough for television. How do you like me now, voices in my head? There's no pleasing you guys. No, not you, Mark. You're always super positive. Hello, Francine. Roy family? But, but you... Was frozen? You're right, I were. But now I wasn't. Attention, denizens of family land. What? Now times are trying and rations run low. And I'm sure all of you'd really like to go home. Which is why Uncle Roy's decided to let the last army standing walk out the front door. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the last army standing too. I just want to say I am a big fan of Simpler Times Mountain. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Ew, what are you doing? What? I'm, I'm kissing my woman. Steve, I like the perks of dating the school president, but I'm not gonna kiss you. I mean, I'm beautiful, and you're repulsive. But, but I thought you liked me. Yeah, you were supposed to. There's a party going on. Can't you take a break? Not until I crack. Stan, hold it. I know I've been giving you a hard time for scaring away all my friends. But I've got to say, this is the greatest party I've ever thrown. And I have you to thank for it. Oh, Francine, I know it's not easy being married to a CIA man. It's got its advantages. But let's make a deal. From now on, you protect the world from terrorists, and I'll protect the neighborhood from you. Here's our hosts. Smile, you two. No, no, I look terrible. That's my guy. Oh, my God, a movie projector. Is there anything more magical than movies? Wait, there's no movies. It's like having the world's biggest wine cooler and no girls from New Jersey. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with my dad's movie projector? If I'm living in a storage unit so he can buy 20 cars, I'm going to get something out of it. Get something out of it. Cars? Yes! The girls would go crazy over these cars. That's it! Hey, Algernon, what's wrong with you? Can't you get an idea without saying it out loud? This isn't the way to the steakhouse. We're not going to a steakhouse, but there will be steaks. High steaks. What do you mean? Think about it. <sighs> Never mind, we're here. Where are we? The corner of Excitement Street and Unpredictability Avenue. Huh. I thought we decided against that. I made it to the mall in time last night, so I got you a little something, you know, for saving my butt. Oh. Wow, a brand new Glock. Wait, how'd you buy this last night? There's a seven-day waiting period, the Brady Bill. Oh, you only shot Reagan. No, there is no Brady Bill. You can get a gun like that. This is the best Christmas ever. I'm afraid you've single-handedly depleted the world's entire supply of antivenom.
Many have died, and now you will too. Clax all, folks. <gasps> My chairs! No! Damn! There's no dying in baseball. Emma, you're in a league of your own. How are we gonna get past them? Me and Debbie can handle those cold-blooded Russians. Hey, boys! You're a miracle on ice. Shh. Bad timing on that squeaky fart. Oh. You're a dead man, Amerikanski. Uh, I think my friend Madison might have something to say about that. Don't want to live a little, huh? Well, this is the other way to go. Damn, what's in this shit? Rum and Cokes! Get your rum and Cokes! I can't drink rum. Yours doesn't have rum in it. Which one's mine? Anyone without the X. So, it's movie night and we're staying in. Love it! Tonight's entertainment is 2017's The Beguiled, about an injured Union soldier in the South that comes upon a school full of women. Fair warning, whenever I watch a movie, I can't resist making hilarious little comments. Beguiled? More like, uh, uh, bullshit. <laughs> hey, you seen a limo with diplomatic plates? No. Have you ever seen a magic trick so amazing it'll blow your mind? <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Beat it, you dingus. Nothing to do with my dad at all. It's just, you know, this is a really bad time for me. The Ghostbusters box set just came out. What with that and the new Doom being released, I just don't think I can give you the time you need. Forget me, big beautiful creature. <laughs> Were you dating a fat girl? The girl who loves to go to the market is now back on it. Soon she'll be mine. Debbie! <laughs> oh, whose foot is that? Paddington Bear, you randy bastard. Forget about her lover. A brighter future awaits us. Let's play at puns. Air, hair, ten letters. Hmm. Kite rabbit? Close, but the answer is actually... Aether bunny! <laughs> Come now, Jeff. Destiny calls. Stan, are you okay? Those are the kinds of shows that make you want to give up and move home. It's okay. You gave it your all. But I'm not going home. With your support, I can do this for as long as it takes. Jigga what? You see, I don't want much. I just want to ascend the mountain of comedy and stand atop it alone. Like a hero or a god. Or something bigger than a god. A fireball. A fire horse. Anyone who comes near me shall be burned. Is that so much to ask? I guess not. Woo! Look out, world! Cat! Yeah, you better run. Uh-oh, Francine. Looks like your support backfired. You're right. We're never going home. Smith, the Chinese are trying to kill S&L cast member Colin Jokes. We need an agent on the inside. Please tell me you've become a world-class comedian. Look at that designer backpack. And check out that $200 haircut. What a waste. That money could cover a whole Iraqi family in white phosphorus. And this kid in his fancy electric scooter, too spoiled to walk. Good afternoon. Huh. Jerk's got his stereo attached to his scooter. When I was young, I had to carry mine on my shoulder. There is no way we're sending Steve here to hobnob with Jimmy Boombox and his silver spoon pals. Yeah, Steve should go here. But you just said... I changed my mind. It's called a 180, Francine. Ah, ah. <gasps> it's a crow. Francine, get the camera. Smith, 
I was tearing it up at the rope and pony last night, and I accidentally picked up a 17-year-old girl, all because of this. Were it not for the girl's father bursting in at the last moment, I'd be a sex offender right now. Wow. I've never seen a fake ID as sophisticated as this. If these got into the wrong hands, they could be a huge threat to national security. That's what I was trying to tell her father before he fell on all those bullets coming out of my gun. Anyway, your new priority is to find the man who's making these and shut him down for good. You can count on me, sir. Do we have any leads? Only one. He goes by the name Gutenberg. Steve Gutenberg. But we have no record of a man by that name ever existing. <laughs> oh, my God. I was right. This was my vision. Ma'am? Ma'am? I was right. <laughs> I see you on a beach with a guy. I wouldn't dread hanging out with him. Your new boyfriend has dreadlocks. How dare you? I'll never love anyone but my husband. I'm here to gather the dead man, man. Whoa, you look sexy when you cry. Really? No one's ever noticed that about me before. How about I buy you a red stripe? It's really like that. Real shit. Thanks for taking me out. I really needed this. The girls at work have been really rough on me. No respect. I'm like the Rodney Dangerfield of that office because I basically am dead to them. Excuse me, are you Megan Fox? No. So you're just a regular fox. Stan, as a woman with an unnecessarily large and perky bosom, you're going to get lots of attention. Guys will say anything to try and pick you up, and some of it's going to be tempting. So I don't look like Megan Fox? I know it's all new and confusing. Just... Be careful. Hopefully you won't have to be a woman much longer. I'll get us another round. I can't believe this. We're going through with this, Haley. No use trying to talk me out of it. I'm not going to. I think it's awesome. Really? Dad, this is exactly what I've been trying to get you to embrace all these years. Now we can work together to bring down the plutocratic, plutocratic patriarchal, patriarchal military, military industrial, industrial complex. complex. No! Mm. I can't wait to help you guys pull this off. But, um, can I go to the bathroom real quick? I'm gonna enjoy a movement of my own. Clever! So, we're right behind the butter shelves. Whoa! How long has this place been here? Get your jaw off the floor and start stocking. And don't let the butter sit on the ground too long because the fridge has put out some major heat. Got it? It won't fit. You gotta take it out of the crate, dummy. Then you make it fit. Lay the butter like bricks, with the labels facing out. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I earned a break. I'll be napping in the blood pressure chair. What's this? Oh, sorry. No. Start over and do it right. Oh, that poor mentally disabled man. I'm not mentally disabled. Well, you don't know how to stack butter, so... Are you crazy? You let my mom and dad go to jail? Now, I know you're angry, but try not to let that come through when you do your report on Garbage Island. Which is now. Go! Uh. Um... M mo most people like to get wasted on an exotic island, but this island is waste. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Isn't what? she a trooper? Still trying to save the world when just moments ago she learned that her parents murdered her little handsome brother. They murdered her brother! Camera two! They murdered her brother! I'm sorry, cut, cut, I can't do this! Francine, you'll be very careful out there today. We're at Terror Alert Orange. Which means something might go down somewhere in some way at some point in time. So look sharp! You know, Dad, it's great that you and your CIA buddies have created a fun little system to keep the masses paralyzed in fear. You like shaving your armpits, Haley? Huh? Because if the terrorists take over this country, that's the first thing to go! Oh, my God! It's just toast, Dad. This time it was toast, Haley. This time. It's okay. This one will be mine. Hello, INS. Hey, is this Nick? Hey, Nick, it's Stan. Hey, what's going on? Hey, uh, how'd that wiretap on your wife work out? Oh. Oh, sorry about that. 
But hey, better with your brother than some stranger, right? Right, yeah, moving on, moving on, right, right. Say, uh, listen, could you do me a huge favor? You know the Silver family at 419 Elm? Yeah, let's, let's deport them. <sighs> You're the best, Dad. This is a wonderful starter home. I've been saving it for a couple just like you. Pretty soon we're gonna be more than a couple. Oh, congratulations, I just thought you were fat. We're adopting. Let me show you the backyard. It's the perfect place for a baby to play. Oh, my God! Stop it! Stan, what are you doing? Leave my husband alone! <laughs> Look, that bum's wife has to jump in and save him. What a wuss! It's a knockout. My dad wins. Come on, watch me blow his head off. Let him go, Stan. It's been a fun ride, but it's over. Come on, Francie. Not this old routine. You know, you pull a gun, I pretend I'm gonna do what you want. Then I pull out my gun. We do our little John Woo standoff. Inevitably, your arm gets tired. Then you drop your gun, and we have nobody got shot sex. Ah! Hey, hey, where, where you go? Nobody got shot sex? That's a real thing. Well, why'd you pull a gun on me if you didn't want to have sex? Hi, I'm Felix. Can I help you? Every man has a weakness. What is his? I notice you shave against the grain. What? I do the same thing. My dad wasn't around to teach me any different. Neither was mine. Francine? That's too fast, too furious. Which means you've already seen the first one. How else could you possibly follow the highly cerebral storyline? It's true. You're bored of me, aren't you? Um, uh, this is all just a dream you're having. I represent your father. You never lived up to the goals I set for you. Bad Stan. Bad Stan. Bad Stan. There's no way I'm shooting Reagan, so we might as well start learning Russian. I wonder how you say hold the door in Russian. I'm probably gonna miss a lot of elevators at first. But Stan, if the Soviets control the U.S., there really won't be a Christmas. No decorations, no pageants, no Santa? I'll miss all that, but at least I'll still have you and the kids. What kids? If you don't fix this, you and Francine might never meet. Your kids might never be born. The future depends on what you do now. It's go time. Are you sure you can do this? Francine, I came back here to save Christmas. But the most important part of Christmas is you and the kids. Now remember, you only need to wing him. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Jeez, that, that would have been ugly. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did. I got to hear and see a lot of friends scenes that I didn't even know she said. I didn't know she had said half of that stuff. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. Twizzles.